morning, guys. Uh, Jack here from OMG. Um, holding the camera is Dupree. We'll get with him in shot uh, momentarily. Today, we're doing our little burger challenge. We're doing our, our burger review, actually. It's a better word for it. Um, so we've just turned up here in Milton Keynes. It is 20 past 11. Um, and both Matthew and I think it'd be a great idea to have a burger for five guys this early. So we're gonna head over in a moment. We're gonna order it, look at it, dissect it, eat it, and then tell you what we think about it. That's the end of today. What are your expectations? Um, five guys? Yeah. Better be good. No, I've had them before. Now, five guys is normally a good burger. Um, I'm going to say something controversial. I can make a better burger, and I can. Don't laugh, because I can, I know I can. But, um, but yeah, normally it's quite good. I'm just looking at what you ordered. So, bacon with it, obviously, it's cheeseburger. Lettuce, okay, tomato, cool. Onion, it's raw onion as well, isn't it? Yeah, raw onion, nice. Um, ketchup, good. Mustard, good. Mayo is a bit of a weird choice for me. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't normally go on a, but no, don't talk. Um, and finally pickle. But I did make the point of saying you had to pick that because you're a lot more picky than I am. So, I mean, I, I just have all of it on. It wouldn't bother me at all. Apart from mayo, it's a weird choice. Well, so, hi there. Hi, <laughs> we're fresh out of five guys. Um, just before we look at this burger, just wanted to say that um, really helpful staff in there, friendly. Um, it was quiet, so it's nice and relaxed. I mean, it, but, is, it is 11 o'clock uh, in the morning. Yeah, so I mean, quiet. the fact that you have to wait five minutes for your burger, I really like that, actually. I don't need to get it instantly. Um, happy to wait around for five minutes. Watch them cook it. Get some monkey nuts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, the other thing I like about it, before I even tried it, just the options to um, personalise it. There's about a list of 12 different things you can throw in that burger, which is a really good start. Let's see what it's all about. So we've gone for a bacon double with loads of different bits. You can see that there somewhere. It's down there. And, yeah. and you're going to put it in the subtitles, that's yeah, why. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I'll have a first bite of this one. Um, looks good. Ooh. Mm. Come on, instant words, mate. No, stop, stop chewing, okay? Instant words? Yeah. Meaty. Meaty. It's been cooked really nicely. So you get that really nice meaty outer layer with a bit of crispiness. Um, I think all the toppings work really well as well. Got that nice little zing of the gherkin in there. Um, yeah, good start. All right. Five guys, first burger, first bite. <laughs> really good, meaty as you said, um, rich flavours, a lot of flavours, um, I would say a lot of ketchup in this for my liking, okay. a lot of ketchup, um, but really, really nice, good cheese. Cheese I, is good, yeah, got cheese that stick, is really nice. I've, now that I've had a few mouthfuls, yeah. I've got that cheesy stickiness in my mouth which is yeah, good. It's nice, um, but I'm impressed, I'm actually really impressed with the meat, that cheese is really nice, it's rich, um, really well cooked as well, what should we do it? So, Good start. Ne On to the next one already. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so five guys is done. We had a bacon double cheese and shared that between us because we. Uh, um, Why did you mention that? Yeah, we're going to pretend that we had one yeah, each. One each. All day. Yeah. Um, my thoughts were really tasty, well-rounded burger. Everything worked well. In harmony in that bun. Really tasty. Uh, happy to eat them um, all day long. Bad too. Same, apart from. A bit too much ketchup, in my opinion, and I thought something then. Would you have known there was bacon in there? Um, not really. I just think you've got a slight flavour of it, but there wasn't a lot in there. Okay. I got that smokiness. Just saying, however, um, I will say that um, for the first start or the first burger of the day, great burger. It was, it's a really, really good start. Us again, we're um, stop number two which is Smash Burger Smash. in Milton Keynes. I don't really know anything about Smash Burger, to be honest. I've never been here. Um, I literally, oh, that shadow's not good. I've never been here. Um, and I looked at the menu about 30 seconds ago. 
and there are quite a lot on that menu, so I'm excited. And we're gonna be getting our probably second burger in roughly 45 minutes. It's two oh. burgers under 45 minutes. That's, that's pretty heavy going. It's not really, it's just two burgers in 45 minutes. Taking us about 10 minutes just to make sure we've lined this shot up right, so our yeah. heads aren't blocking the sign, which is... Smash burger, yeah. burger number two. Wait for it, wait for it. Got to end, nice. Welcome to us two being confused by the menu. Um, single, not sure what si yeah. regular or double. I don't know what double is. Single regular, same thing. First bite. First bite of the Smash Brothers. What's this called? Still stack. Still stack. Still stack. Still stack. Cheesy, chuck me, chuck me, me. Smash burger, talk to me. So, I, I, you can taste this before you actually ate it. Um, I like the smokiness in there. I like the cheese, it's a nice burger. I think um, the Five Guys burger patty itself was tastier. Um, but this is an overall burger. It looks really good straight out of the box. You've got yeah. those crispy onions. This looks beautiful. Um, so the, nice. the smoky bacon is really good. Um, and um, yeah, the, the patties are firmer, um, but still pretty tasty. Happy with this burger. So, final verdict on the Smash Burger. Big I've fan. never been there before. Big fan. Big fan here. As, um, as a burger with uh, that, those kind of toppings and everything in it, it was really good. Uh, meat patty, nice and meaty. Uh, more of that steaky kind of vibe than, um, than kind of minced beef. Um, but overall, really nice. You're taking uh, your partner out for a nice meal. Obviously, you pick Smash Brother burgers. And uh, you know, you're gonna order still and stack and they'll be impressed and who knows what happens that night. We're well, at, hello there. We're at Percy's. Well. I mean, you wouldn't know where this place is unless you've, uh, unless you've dug it out. Percy's. It is nice, but um, we are in the middle of nowhere. In my We're opinion. in the middle of nowhere. I think this must rely mainly on deliveries and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but obviously you can swing by. We have uh, put our order in, 15 minutes. Uh, we're getting the house burger and three people are recommended here. So uh, we're expecting big things. Big things. Burger's nice, cooked well, tiny bit pink in there. Um, I think bready, it is bready, but this is the first single burger we've had, and previously the ratio is two burgers and bread. Now I think the bread's overwhelming a single, so it's a nice burger, I think it needs to be doubled. Well, well hello there. Visiting. So that was a nice uh, walk. Bin Burger in Buckingham, but it's a Sunday and it, it's shut. The whole so of Buckingham is shut on a Sunday. All I'm going to say is, I'm working Sunday, why aren't you? So, my burger kind of occupies Good afternoon. this uh, space in between the McDonald's kind of price point and then the Five Guys price point. So it'll be interesting to see this one really. It's about, what was it, four pounds? Yeah, like five, four, six, five, yeah. Is that a single or a double? Double. Double for about a fiver. It'll put the prices there. 
Um, so yeah, interested here if they're knocking out um, burgers for nearly four or five quid less than five guys. The entire setup very very five guys s. So, um, the bun's quite thin, um, it's a, a bit soggy, and we've let it sit for two, three minutes. Two, three, yeah, that. Um, a little bit soggy, but it looks really good, it's very moist. Oh, it's all right in there, it's a big bite. Big old Good seasoning on the burger. Get that gherkin and ketchup and mustard. I think the one thing that I'm not getting a pal is I'm not getting a power burger. Very moist, nice and tasty. Jack's in with his first bite of the my burger, me burger, my burger. Flavours are good, it's juicy, it's very, very juicy. Less bread, so I'm happy. I would certainly agree that I'm not getting a massive hit of beef or meat, I'm not really getting that sort of, that, that whack that we had from like, I don't know, smash burger for example, or five guys. Um, look, looking at it, when we when we cook burgers in the past, we, we always make sure that the patty itself is seared. And I think with this, it could be also why it's so juicy, it's, it's not been seared. So, um, final thoughts Hi on there. that, my burger? Final thoughts, I mean, for the price, I can see why it's popular. Um, uh, everything about it was, was spot on. It's just missing a little bit of, uh, of zap or pow when it comes to the meat. And I think it, it, it genuinely is because it just hasn't been seared properly. Um, the prey, are we thinking? Yeah, really nice burger, good at the price point. Mm. Um, maybe just get that patty on a higher temperature. I mean, I don't want to tell someone how to cook a burger. Well, don't they? So. <laughs> What are your expectations from this burger? From meat and eat? Yeah. We've gone for an American double, cost a tenner, so it's gonna be good. Um, my expectations are high, because you know we're in the we're in the heart of Aylesbury. It doesn't get any better than this. So um, so yeah, no, it's gonna be good. And this is this is the uh, the ender, it's the finisher, isn't it? So we've got our meat and eating Aylesbury burger and here's a good look. It's huge. It is a monster. It is huge. Uh, in the bag. You struggled to lift wait, it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I could hardly lift right. it. Yeah, couldn't lift it. It's like your curl PB, wasn't it? You good? Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack, you've right. had a couple of bites of that. Which I one? have. First of all, it's mammoth. Yeah. It's huge. I couldn't get my mouth around it. Not for the first time. Um, there's a lot of flavours going on. There's a lot of sauce in there. A lot of sauce. But I like mustard, so it's okay. Um, in terms of the meat, um, there's bacon in it as well. You wouldn't have bacon in there. Um, the, the patty, the burger seems fine. The burger's not too bad. Um, not the juiciest that we've had so far. And when you look at it, it doesn't look like the juiciest either. Um, but yeah, a, a nice, nice burger, nice flavours. Proper two-hand Dense, isn't it? It's massive. It feels like you only get an XL Whopper at Burger King and it's like massive but bigger. Even bigger than that? Yeah. <laughs> they drip hard there, they drip hard. Wouldn't go out for dinner with your missus with this one. Why are, you going to, why, why are you going to dinner with my missus anyway? It's my first question. Yeah, I think too saucy for my liking. Yeah. Um, a bit messy, but nice flavours overall. It's a, it's the tasty burger. So I think we've got cheese, American cheese in here, and then some cheddar, which is a nice combination. Um, I'd kind of classify this as a, a nice pub burger. 
bit denser. Um, it came with chips for the ten pounds. If you want a huge burger yeah. that tastes nice in Aylesbury, meat and eat. So oh, um, hello we've had a look at. Well, we've been to five burger places tonight, um, today. Today that you've recommended. Recommended. Uh, Jack, what stood out for you? What is it? What do I prefer? What stood out? I oh, what stood out? Sorry, um, stood out. Um, I was surprised how much I like the Stilton Stack and the Smash Burger. That was really, really good. Um, and as I said at the time, a symphony of flavour. Um, as much as I hate to say it, Five Guys stands out, and I really don't want to say that. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think against Five Guys, but it's the closest that we've had today to like a fast food chain, and it, and it does stand out. Um, there's a good burger. What about you? Yeah, I, for me, um, Five Guys was the best burger. Uh, again, I feel a bit like I wanted it to be something else, but just that, it's just that perfect, yummy, tasty burger. Um, just works so well. They're just doing it right. Um, I did like the Stilton, I liked a few of the other things as well. There's a few that have been recommended, but we weren't massively keen on, um, but we've only scratched the surface really, so um, I guess we're thinking about number two. Oh, cool. Sorry, because you really cut me off the last video. Just a shout out to, um, to Me Burger or My Burger and Vista, because um, Actually, with a bit more searing on the actual burger itself, it was really, really nice. And for the price, I thought it was, I was really impressed. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's about that. Also, I mean, obviously, we've mentioned Five Guys quite a lot. We are sponsored by them. So um, just, uh, yeah, if you want to click on the link and enter the code. Um, so um, let us know what you think of our thoughts. Let us know where you've eaten burgers. We'd love to do another trip out we'll there. We'll do another one, surely. Uh, we'll we'll do another one. do another yeah. one. So, um, yeah, give us a shout. Put your comments down there. Let us know what you think of them. If you use these guys regularly, um, Tell us what you think and we will see you soon. Love you, bye.